Well, hey guys, good morning. Let me uh, take you in and we'll show you what we're working on today. Uh, we're already kind of back in here in the head. I'm getting ready to take the rest of this plumbing. Ah, knocking stuff over. Getting ready to take the rest of this plumbing and that electric sand unit out there. That is going to be great. And once we have that out of there, then this step on the bottom will come out of here, the last bit of the cabinets. And I've still got that shelf to do. Uh, once that's all gone, we can really start tearing down in here. We can start getting the walls sand. Of course, i got to get these mirrors off. You got the little fishy someone's kid put on there. Ooh, look at that. You can see each other in another mirror. Anyways, once the rest of this is torn down in here, I can uh, get everything off the walls, start getting it sanded. Once we got it all sanded down, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the walls fiberglassed in here, start thinking about getting this floor fiberglassed, and... Uh, we get all that done up and we, we should be doing pretty good. I'm pretty excited about that because once this room is glassed in, then uh, I can start rebuilding the inside of it. Yeah, I need to get these these uh, walls, which is just a veneer plywood on the outside. There's actually some heavy duty marine plywood underneath this, which is kind of the way they did it back in the 1960s. Good solid wood on the inside. Veneer plywood only, uh, I think it's like eight millimeter or a quarter inch, maybe three sixteenths or the outside of that. And what I am worried about a little bit is we have this spot over here where that wood is, it's changed color, but it's still hard. And so I'm, I'm going to sand this and see how it looks. And then once that's sanded, if it, if it looks okay and it, it doesn't feel spongy, I'll just go ahead and fiberglass right over the top of that. And then we'll just wrap that out into the hole. And the whole idea is, is we want to get the inside of this room to where it is completely waterproof. And that way I can shower in here. The shower will get hung up on this bulkhead here. Things get moved down a little bit. Uh, this mirror here is going to go away, and uh, there will be another one that gets mounted on over here, and I have to think about the mount for that, so I'm probably going to encapsulate the, the mirror mount on this side into, into the fiberglass somehow or something. I mean, you've got these little holders on the side, maybe something like that. We need to make sure whatever I put in here, though, that it's going to be waterproof, so maybe I'll be mounting it up with some of that, uh, like, uh, 3M uh, vinyl adhesive, or uh, butyl adhesive tape. That stuff's pretty good few things to figure out there and then uh, on the headliner here uh, I gotta get the overhead tore out not entirely sure what I'm gonna do with the overhead in here I'm thinking about taking this piece of uh, fabric on the overhead here and if I remove this very gingerly what I'm thinking I can do is cut out a piece of fiberglass uh, after I've uh, you know lay it up on a flat surface and then trace this out cut it out with the scissors and then uh, glass that up and it'll give me a solid surface over the top, and then I can just encapsulate everything in here. Before I do that, what I'm going to need to think about is chase way for the wiring here. And I don't yet know where the electrical switches are going to go in here, and I need to think about that first. I have thought about putting them on uh, the outside right here. Um, just as you go in, I've thought about putting them on the right side of the door here. I don't know if I'm going to do that because that'll mean having to go up and then into the top to the light there. Not entirely sure how we want to handle that, but I need to have a way to turn that light on and off. And the, the, the problem is, is for someone who's shorter to work this light, I mean, the, this light works just fine for anyone who's an adult, but for anyone who's shorter, that light's uh, a little bit high up there. Because, I mean, this is, well, I mean, my, my head's touching the ceiling in here. So there's about six foot one of uh, headroom in here. Um, and so I have to figure out a way to make this, you know, where, where it can be turned on and off easy. And I don't want it to get in the way while you're in here showering either. I don't want that to get water in it. So I'm going to have to figure out some type of a light, a waterproof light fixture. And then we also will have some, uh, with the way I'm building out the design in here, you know, the sink will be over here now. And so up underneath here, there's going to be some lighting as well. So that'll be really nice. And I just have to figure out how to make all this work. And so those are the big challenges I'm working on right now. I'm really happy with how the design's coming together. And the big thing about that was, and I, I wish I'd have shown this, but I don't know if you can tell, but the, the cabin turns in this way as it comes in. And having the sink over here on this side, that was not great. And the reason being is that anytime I'd go up to use the sink, I, I was like having my face up against the wall here. And whereas now moving the sink over here, it means that I'll be leaning forward into a sink that's down here. So I'm not like potentially bashing my face into something. And so that's gonna be a, a huge improvement in the design of the boat. And then the other thing we're gonna have to deal with is this outlet here has to get taken out. So I'll have to pull that out of there, plug that hole, just router it out, put a plug in there of some kind, and then that will uh, move that out of there. And I think I'm going to maybe put another plug over here or something like that, maybe up on top here, someplace where it's accessible. So um, this is out here, yeah. So well, I do have a girl on board. She wants to do, use her hair dryer or makeup or, you know, whatever else, you know, the, any of the appliances that women use in the bathroom for their contraptions. 
um, that would give an outlet that's close by. The only thing I'm a little bit, yeah, I guess the door won't swing into the way of that. So I might think about doing an outlet right there. We'll just have to see how all that works out. All right, now here is going to be the fun part because what we're doing is getting the toilet out of here. And removing the toilet is not fun because it has the potential to drop a lot of really nasty water all throughout the boat, and we don't want that. So my solution for the couple of times I've had to do this, big trash bag. Oh, fresh blades are so nice. I went over to the store this morning, got a fresh blade for the, well, got a fresh pack of blades because I could not find mine. It's such a wonderful feeling having fresh blades on this thing. Okay, pull that over, set it down inside of the bag. There we go. Curl the hose around and start to pull the bag up around it. You see now, whatever nastiness comes out of there is contained. And then the next thing I'm going to do is set this hose right here, or this bucket, underneath the hose. So when I start cutting this, if anything comes out, it goes in that bucket. Oh, this is some good stuff. stinks. Right. Now, now the fun part's going to be getting this out of here because once I pick this up, I have to back out around the corner. So I just went and cleared the floor, opened the doors, and hopefully we'll walk this thing outside without issue. Oh yeah, and it's porcelain and bronze. It's heavy. Ah. Yeah, it's heavy. Alrighty, now it is time to get this bad boy out of here, the Electra Sand Unit. And uh, these things used to be legal. They're no longer legal. I've never used it. I don't know if it works. It's going straight out of the boat into the dumpster, so it won't be a big deal. But it's kind of been my chagrin since I got the boat because uh, previous owner cut the face of the cabinet up really bad to stuff that thing in here. They were probably setting it up so they could get by having a holding tank because the boat did not have a holding tank in it when it was built. And so I suspect that's why it was installed because they were legal for a long time, like starting from the 90s. And they just did a hackety hack job putting this thing through the cabinet face here. And it really, really was not a good insulation. And it, it made it where this whole thing in here couldn't really be cleaned. I mean, you can't run a rag over this and clean this stuff up. So one of the things I'm really looking forward to about getting this job done is the ability to go in and wipe everything in here down. And I'm actually building out the entire inside of this uh, room to where I'll be able to spray it down. I'll be able to spray it down with the shower wand because the shower wand will sit over by the sink. You pull it out and do the thing when, when you're showering. And so what would be nice is, I mean, if I need to get in here and scrub this room out, I can move that wand around in here and just scrub it down. And that'll really help me keep things clean because I really like to have things clean. And this, this boat, you know, has been difficult for that because a lot of the surfaces in here need to be refinished. So as I start to get these surfaces refinished, that's going to be a really fantastic deal being able to keep that up. I don't even know how well you guys can see this in here, but the wiring on this thing is a little bit of a nightmare too. I just disconnected the uh, wire out there, but you notice everywhere on this boat, two red conductors. They, they used red wire to wire everything on this thing, and so all the wiring is going to have to come out of it too. It's just Ah, uh, it, it, it's frustrating. But then again, that's why I got such a good deal on the boat. It's because it had some of those things with it that it needed. Uh, I'll start stripping this stuff out of here. And I'm going to have to go drag this 110 volt line out of here. That is hot. And uh, that's the one that goes to the outlet over here. So I'm going to go find that in a few, get it disconnected. And then, uh, oh. Looks like the bonding system's still hooked up in here at least. That's good. And it's, yeah, it's not even bolted down. Look at that. I just got to 
cut her on out of there and she'll come free. So let's get that done. I gotta check and see if there's any pressure in that pipe by flipping the valve over. Feels like there might have been. So the first place I'm gonna cut it is gonna be under here, maybe. Oh, that's so gross. There we go. Start feeding her into the bag here. Grab that, set it under there. No liquid in there, that's a happy thing. Well, that was not enjoyable at all, but we got it out of here. It leaked. <laughs> so glad I'm never going to have to deal with that again. Thing had a lot of water in it. It's pretty heavy. It's probably about 45, 50 pounds, maybe, maybe 60 pounds. <sighs> not a lot of weight to carry, but in an awkward shape, leaking water. Oh. <laughs> So here we are inside. You can see we've got that pulled out. The next bit is gonna be getting this thing here to come loose. I don't know what that's gonna take yet. And then getting that electrical wire out of here, getting this piece pulled. So that'll be a bit of work yet. And then yeah, we gotta get all that piping out of here too. So that'll be an adventure. Well guys, good morning. Yesterday was a busy day. I had to go up and get a lot of the materials for building out this head. Kind of excited about that because uh, up here at the local uh, place where I get the wood, uh, they were having a deal on it. It's uh, Eden Saw uh, Lumber. I'm sure if you've watched like Samson Boat Company, you've been in there before. We're in the same area. And so went over to Eden Saw and they were having a deal on uh, this Okume plywood that I'm using. And so it's normally like 140, 150 bucks a sheet. I got it for 60 a sheet. So I bought four. So I have enough to hopefully do everything I'm going to do here in the boat. I may run out, may have to go get more, but I did save myself a lot of money doing that. So pretty excited about that. Eden Saw is a really cool place. I love going up there. I mean, they got all these hardwoods, they got all these burls, all kinds of really neat things there. And I mean, I'm, I'm fairly new to woodworking. Like, don't think that I'm some kind of expert. I mean, I kind of grew up around this with my dad doing some woodworking, but he never really showed me anything. I did a lot more with my grandpas, actually. I spent a lot of time with them, but I have never been a woodworker. I've always been a welder. So kind of take anything I say through the course of this build with a grain of salt that, you know, I am not a woodworker. I am kind of learning as I go. I mean, I know a little bit. I know enough to get stuff done. But don't don't think of me as a professional woodworker. I mean, I, I could tell you all kinds of stuff about welding professionally, but not woodworking. This is more of a hobby thing, so we're just following along with that. Anyways, let's go in here and see what we've got done this morning. And there is a Dexter, being so very patient, being a good boy, yeah. Do you want to go up on deck? Okay, let's go. Go out and seize the day, buddy dog. Bark at all the things. All right, here we go, making some progress. Just got the uh, pedestal for the toilet ripped out of there. Let me get this to focus. <clears throat> oh man lots of junk come out of here i can't believe how much stuff come out of this room it's still a little bit wet underneath here from oh condensation coming off of the hole the toilet was leaking at one point <clears throat> on the intake side so we're gonna have to get this all dried out in here see what type of shape this uh, subfloor is in it appears at one point the water used to come up out of the floor that there was some type of fitting that way not sure what that's going to be and then uh you have that little uh, step there that I ripped out, which is, uh, well, I guess I've already hauled it outside, but got that out of there now. 
and get everything pulled apart. I guess, well, no, that's the, that's the top of the step right over there. So that's what was sitting on here. That was the base of the toilet. And so we got that out of there now, and we're da back down to the raw wood. And I'm thinking I can just go ahead and pull that all off of there and everything will be fine. We'll get this dried out in here, get a heater running in here after I get her cleaned up. And then uh, I got that one last shelf to take off there and we'll be set to start rebuilding. All right, now stepping into the head. Sorry about the bad lighting, but I got the fixture taken down because I'm working on getting the top out of here. I already got all the uh, trim and everything pulled. And now we're going back in and we're working on this. This morning I have been building up this uh, template here. I just got some... Uh, two ice two spacers and I put those into the wall uh, using one of these Krieg uh, pocket hole jigs like or Craig I guess it's Craig pocket hole jig I really like these a lot and uh, that just clamps on here with uh, one of these big uh, vice grip style clamps that they have works perfectly and so then I was just able to take another one of these screws and screw that up on there and you can see I've pretty well got this uh, bulkhead mostly fitted I still have to go in and make the piece that goes up on the top and then that will get tabbed in here all the way around and then I do have to have a little bit of a relief and clearance on that so there'll be some fiddling with that but almost have the first template done the uh, next step is going to be to figure out where we want the front of it up in here and then I have to square that off with the cabin sole just to make everything square in here and so that'll be a little bit of an adventure getting that done but uh, we're going to come in make that happen and not entirely sure how I'm going to manage to do that yet but we're going to get something figured out and then once I've got that figured out then uh, I can come in and get this marked and go ahead and get that bulkhead cut, get it brought in here, and we'll just uh, screw it right onto these spacers after I grind off the hole there and make sure it's ready to adhere to. I've got to go down and uh, remove the uh, old uh, intake for this toilet there. That through hole is getting deleted. Uh, this one over here is going to get deleted and moved over next to this one, so everything's kind of getting moved into the same space here, so that'll, that'll keep things interesting. All right, here we go. We got the template put in here, and uh, it's looking good. Got a nice gap up the back side. Got her spaced out nice, and then uh, just, you know, it doesn't hurt to stop and check. Okay, yeah, my towels will sit in there. That's the thing I was really worried about, whether or not I'd made this wide enough. And so these, this cabinet will stick out a total of 16 and 5 eighths inches from the wall. Um, with that 18 millimeter plywood, I just had to cut that to uh, 15 and uh, 31, 30 seconds. And that should wind up pretty much... I'm within a sixteenth of uh, 16 and uh, 5 eighths. And so we'll get this all put together here. But really happy to see this. I still got to get the lines out of the bottom over here. Get these through holes out. And I'm not quite sure on that because I don't think my big crescent wrench opens big enough for those. So I may have to order in a crescent wrench. So those may not be able to come out for a few days. I could, I could probably use a pipe wrench, but I'd much rather have a big crescent on there. And then that way we're turning those things off the right way. But... Yeah, everything is uh, looking pretty good though. I'm, I'm really happy the way that's going to work out. You can kind of see how the sink's going to be over in the corner there now. And everything there should work pretty good. Now I don't know if you could hear the wind blowing out there today, but it is absolutely howling. So I'm not going to be able to get any of the wood cut today, which is kind of a bummer. I've got a couple other projects I need doing here. Like I said, I've got the wire running through here. I'm going to take care of that probably this evening. I uh, still need to get this headliner down up here because, uh, and then I got to get um, up underneath here, there's some insulation in there, still needs to be scraped out. Really haven't been able, been looking forward to that. So I'm going to take a shower in a little bit. So before I take the shower, I'll go over and scrape all that out of there, bag it up and get it gone. That way, uh, all the little dust I get on myself won't, uh, it'll go down the shower drain. But feeling really optimistic about this project. It's it's going together really fast. And I'd stressed out over this for a long time. I mean, I've, I've overthought the details and thought about the details and thought about the details on this for so long now. And I'm finally in the situation where it's coming together. And it feels so good to see this happening. I'm I'm really pleased with that. I, as I look around in here, it's, it's just, well, I mean, it's a construction zone right now. You see, you got all the tools down here. But it, it's just great to see this happening because this room was such a wreck before. Like, it, it was so screwed up. You couldn't even come in here and clean it because it would, you know, the plywood on the cabinet would start to fall apart. It was just making me crazy having that in, in my restroom here and the head on the boat. So now being able to go in and... Um, once this is all glassed up and everything smooth, fared, and painted out really nice, uh, this is it, it's just going to be glorious to come in here, be able to take a shower, and be able to wash this down, keep it super clean. It's just going to be a fantastic thing. And uh, just being organized, being able to put all my towels over here, because right now my towels are in the closet behind me, so having a dedicated storage space in here for the towels, being able to do the showering thing in here, it's it's all just going to be really awesome. Um, and then, you know, like I said, moving the sink over so I'm not smashing my face into that bulkhead anymore. 
really makes me feel good. So we're, we're feeling really optimistic. And I think that's going to be it for this week's video. I'm going to keep on working through, on this through the week, but we've, we've recorded a whole lot of stuff right now. So next week we'll be diving in and we'll be getting to cut the bulkheads to go in here and everything else. So uh, we'll catch up with you guys there. Stay tuned.